Hey everybody, so the beginning of this video was simply a... I printed out a frame, not this one, but a frame and put my Isheen flight controller, the E011, that was updated with the Acro firmware. I put it into a new frame and upgraded to 8520 brush, brush motors with 55mm tri-blades. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, it was a little bit jumpy. Uh, not not much jumpy, just a little jumpy. Looked kind of like a slinky on steroids. Um, Jello video doesn't quite cover it. And what I found out was that the frame was a little bit weaker than it should have been. So I went on Thingiverse and I'm printing out my new frame. This frame is a little bit more reinforced along with some, uh, what do you call those? Inductrix, uh, funnel thingies, whatever you call it, the inductrix funnel things, and it's um, printing. So a few things about this is that I'm obviously using the ANET, ANET A8 printer, and I put a glass bed on front, and initially I had some problems with the, with the um, print sticking to the board, or to the glass. It was just kind of pushing the PLA filament all around. And someone suggested using hairspray, and uh, I have to say that made a world of difference in that this is the first thing I've ever printed that stuck on the first try. There were no retries, it was basically level the bed, heat up, um, or actually level the bed, spray the hairspray on top, heat it up, and press go. And this is my finished print. Uh, those are 8.5 millimeter holes along with the braces, reinforcements, and support structure in a 4mm brim. The cool thing about the hairspray is that this just pulled straight off with absolutely no force and it left a little glossy side on front. Just looking at it here, just gotta clean up the, uh, clean up the stuff. Basically just pull out the support structure and um, make sure it works fine. This uh, weighs a good bit more than the stock frame, but not too much. And here we have the finished product. Um, the rubber band is holding my camera on. There are there was a screw hole that actually fit for the Ishin E11 in the Thingiverse file that I printed, and that actually holds in very well. And little mounts on top will get a good weight here as soon as that finalizes comes in at 37.5. Stock these are about 26 uh, grams with the camera on top and no rubber band. The rubber band is also used as my battery holder so you just slide the battery underneath. All right. And it's time for the maiden flight. There's my battery held in by the rubber band, the little connector going in the back. If you look at the top of the screen along this video, you'll see some of the how-to videos for what I did to this. And we're plugged in, sitting down. Uh, you have to excuse my backyard, my lawnmower is manual and sometimes waves. And right there, it looked like the first, uh, that propeller wasn't spinning, but it really was, I just didn't give it enough throttle. So here's take two, coming up. Alright, so yeah, just put it back down and take two. We're going to see how this works. And whoop, there it goes. That wasn't even a full punch out, but as you can see, my flying skills are amazing. And we're going for a second flight here. There we go, a little bit better there. Yeah, I got to smooth out the stick control. It's pretty good, not too bad. Uh, let's switch over to some FPV flights, it's a little bit more fun. Here we are with some bare FPV footage. Um, trying to take this slow because I don't have auto level mode at all on this, and I'm using the stock one of those stock toy controllers. So anyway, it's just going to be a slow, just run around a little bit, and yeah, control on it's pretty good. Um, speed is okay. I think it was probably about as fast as stock except that I did notice my batteries were obscenely warm so I think I need a larger battery or a higher C rating on a larger battery. I was able to get a couple minutes of flight but once you hit a punch out or two the lights flash 
even if it was full um, full charge or not I think it suffers from some voltage drop so all in all not a bad upgrade I enjoy it and uh, yeah I love this little frame and this is actually why I got a 3d printer so if I broke something it wasn't really that hard to fix and uh, this little frame takes a few crashes uh, didn't do anything unusual I did notice it has some very tight tolerances with those 55 millimeter uh, propellers but all in all it spun very well and I managed to run it into a few things without making any any dead stings or propeller problems um, all in all just a fun nice little day uh, no big deal and that's about it so anyway I uh, hope y'all have a good one stay freaking awesome and we'll just roll out from here thanks <laughs>